Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step methods in creating a corrugated roofing sheet in Autodex Revit. Okay, so if you have not done so, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We release content like this on a weekly basis. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Also hit the notification bell to join the notification squad. So when we release good videos like this, you get notified immediately. Okay, without out of the way, let's jump right into the main content of this video. All right. So so the first thing to do while creating corrugated roofing sheets is to click on the existing roof. Currently we have a normal roof that is mono pitched. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to rotate this to an appropriate view. Then I'm just going to go over here and click on this copy tool and copy this roofing sheet. So I'm just going to click on this top bottom part and I'm just going to copy it and overlap it on its head. So now I've overlapped it, I'm still going to click on it and I'm just going to move it by let's say um, 35 millimeters just to have some spacing. So now I've done this, I'm going to go over to this property panel i'm going to click on this drop down icon and i'm going to go down and select sloped glazing so now this slope glazing is selected we are going to now edit it so i'm going to click on edit type then i'm going to click on duplicate then i'm just going to name this 01 corrugated roofing sheet okay then once i've named this i'm just going to click on okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be setting some parameters to create provisions for the panels i'm going to create later on so i'm going to go over this cutting panel i'm going to leave it at none for now we are still going to change it later so i'm going to go over to this grid one that is the vertical grid i'm going to click on this drop down icon and i'm going to set it at fixed distance so now i'm just going to impute the value of the width i want the panels to have so i want the panels to have 150 millimeter width so i'm just going to put it in um, this tab here then i'm just going to go to this grid two and i'm going to click on fixed distance as well then i'm going to change it to 500 millimeter because that is how i want the length of the panels to be so i'm going to click on apply and i'm going to click ok okay so because of the amount of grid is going to create it will take some time because of it's a little bit heavy so i'm just going to click ok and it's going to tell me. so now you can see all the grids we've created so this is just the first step so the next step is to go under this file now under this file we are going to go to new under this new we are going to click on family okay so now we've clicked on family we are going to go to the english metric library where we access the english metric template files then we're just going to look for cutting wall panel metric cutting wall panel we are going to select it and we're going to click ok all right so now we've opened the interface of this metric cutting wall panel um, family creation template we're just going to select this reference plane and we're just going to go over here and impute the value to this dimension Currently, remember I set the width of our panel at 150 millimeters, so I'm just going to change this from 1005 to 75 millimeter, which is exactly half of 150 millimeter. Then I'm going to click enter. So now I've done this, our reference plane is now set in place for us to create the corrugation panel. So I'm going to click on create, I'm going to click on extrusion. Okay, now I've clicked on extrusion, I'm just going to draw a panel. So I'm going to be starting from the bottom. Okay, I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to draw 15 millimeters. I'm going to draw a vertical line to 37, uh, 35 millimeters. And I'm just going to do the same at the other side. 15 from here, 35 from the top. Then I'm just going to join it at this point. Then I'm just going to draw a diagonal line from this point here. I think about at 60 degrees, 55 degrees can serve. Then I'm going to click on this line. And I'm just going to click on this mirror by picking axis. I'm going to select it and I'm going to mirror this here. So now I'm just going to delete this line, delete this line. Then I'm going to use the trim tool to just quickly trim it up. Okay, so now I'm just going to use this offset tool and I'm going to offset it by 2.5. Normally, the thickness of roofing sheet is 1 millimeter, but let's just use 2.5 so it will be visible to us. So I'm just going to click on this and offset it. Okay, so now I've done this, I'm just going to use this line and I'm just going to close this loop to make sure it's a closed loop so it will not show us any error. So now after we've done this, I'm going to click on AL on our keyboard for align. Then I'm going to select this reference plane and I'm going to select this line and lock it in place. Select the reference plane again, select this line and lock it in place, which I think is good. So now we're going to put some parameters for this profile. Firstly, we're going to assign a material. So we're going to click on this tab here. After we've clicked on it, we're just going to right click duplicate and we're just going to name this 01 roofing sheets. 
okay i didn't spell it well but whatever so i'm just going to click on this box here once i've clicked on this box i'm going to click on appearance then i'm going to go to this material library then i'm just going to look under metals and look for a nice metallic material so let me just give it a red aluminium material and i'm going to click apply and i'm going to click ok so now i've done this i'm just going to click on finish and okay and one last thing i'm going to click on this i'm going to go to this elevation view so once i've seen this elevation view and i'm going to set some things so i'm going to click on this reference plane here and i'm going to change this dimension to 500 millimeter and click enter so now i'm just going to click on this panel and i'm going to drag it to this point then i'm going to click on al on my keyboard for align then i'm going to select this bottom reference plane and select this and lock it in place i'm also going to select this top one okay ctrl z i'm going to start again select this top one select this place and lock it in place then i'm just going to save hold ctrl s to save this um, this panel so i'm just going to save it as okay i'm going to access my file explorer to locate anywhere i want to save it let me just save it as coro and i'm just going to click um, click on save all right so one important thing to note before loading in this panel we've just created we're going to click on it and we're going to click on this material and make sure our material template is set right so currently uh, the material template we is under this um, red aluminium panel we assigned to it then we're just going to make sure our material is set in place make sure you check this use render appearance and we're going to click ok now we have made sure of that so we're just going to click load into project and we're going to be loading it into our project so now we've loaded it into this project we're just going to select this roofing sheet or this sloped glazing corrugated roofing sheet we created then we're going to click on edit type to edit the parameters then we're just going to go under this cutting panel that is currently selected as none then we're going to click this drop down icon and we're just going to select this coro panel we created then i'm just going to click on apply it's going to take some time there is because of it's so heavy uh, especially considering the amount of panels you have created so i'm just going to click ok so now you can see it's currently due to the thickness of the panels it's currently submerged within the initial roof so what we are going to do we're just going to select this slope glazing and we're going to change the base offset to about 285 then we're going to click ok so let's see how it comes out let's wait okay so you can see how the corrugated roofing sheet came out well it has all the panels and it's looking very good so it can aid you if you want to create more specific roofing sheet types or more detailed roofing sheet types so if the video was helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more content like this hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this and thank you very much for watching this video and we're going to see you in the next video